What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Webflow Wednesdays. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how you can make a simple form that people can fill out for your website. What is going on beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. My name is RR Abrat and I'm the founder and creative director at Abrat Creative and we create websites for people and we use a tool primarily called webflow and today we're just going to do a quick tutorial on how you can create a simple form for people to fill out when they get to your website this form is very important it's for people to fill out so that they can contact you and you get an email so that you can contact them back so let us hop right into the tutorial all right, here we go. So as you can see, I already set up my section and my container. So we've got that out of the way. And Webflow has an awesome thing. You can create your forms really little by little if you want to do piece by piece or if you want to just do a whole form right away. It does a template that they use for you. And then you can go ahead and modify that yourself. So go ahead and click the plus button right here. And then scroll down right here called the form block form block to me would probably be the easiest one if you want to do one by one you can use all that there's actually many things you can do you can do a checkbox you can even do a captcha you know the whole thing where uh click this if this is a window or, or whatever that we overcomplicate or the words right radio button select you can even upload a file which is really cool but we're going to go ahead and just do a simple form just bare bones and that you can use it to um, make sure that it gets sent to your email so go ahead and get the form block drag that into your container and there you go right now it just has name and email address very simple right so what we're gonna do is really uh, now you can really do all things all sorts of things with this form if you want to make the container uh, let's say 50% you're able to do that and the form will be a lot um, slimmer um, or if you want to make the form block 50% of the container you can do that as well and that will modify everything there let's do it 50% make it standard okay now you can do a lot of things to style this and you can set this up so that um, uh, you're able to input what uh, what people will in you what you'll see in your email what people will fill out and what they'll see in your email okay so go to the gear button and if you look at this box, you can see it's the input ID is name and then the name settings is name. So this is very important because uh, this right here will is what's going to show on your email. OK, so we'll want the name. We want that. Well, why don't we do this? Let's go ahead and copy this and let's do one more. So let's add another um, area and we're going to make this uh, phone number. OK. Phone number now we want to change some things if you notice this is name this is email and this one we want to change this instead to phone and then the input will be phone number and you could put the text type here which would be phone and this will make sure that when someone inputs something it's going to be a phone number instead of text now you could also make sure that it's required you can uh, set it to autofocus and things like that What's also really awesome, you can even do a placeholder. For example, you can put here full name and then there is a placeholder there. Um, this is really useful in case some people like to do it where you actually don't even have this and it's just that or you can you can do a lot of things. You can style this however you want. It's super simple. Um, you can even style the button to however you want it and then really once you get it done once you publish it you can go ahead and just make sure that the form goes to your email now how do you do that well go to the settings button go to project settings all right and then once you get there you go to forms and here you can modify everything you can uh change the name if you want to make it um awesome forms by me Send for submissions to rdarbot.gmail.com. Um, no, it's kind of just my personal email. Don't spam me, please. Subject line, uh, check out this form, RR. And then you can even do a reply to address. You can even put a template. But we don't have to do that. All right, so we'll go ahead and click Save Changes. And then we'll 
publish this, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the website and let's fill this out. R R brought um, test email at email.com five 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 five. All right, you can tell I test forms out because that number popped up, right? And there you go. So we're gonna go ahead and check my email here. And as you can see, there it is where it says. Submit a content, name R or brought, there's the email, there's the phone number. And then you, if someone contacts your business or your uh, design agency as a freelance designer, you're welcome to go ahead and reply to the person's email and contact them back. And you can add many things to this form. It's super easy. Let me add some stuff here. So we can add a CAPTCHA so you make sure that no bots come in there. All right, you can put that under the uh, put the submit button there. Um, you can even let me see here. You can add a radio button and say, um, "I hereby give all of my information to you," and then someone can go ahead and click that. And you can also make it required that they have to click that. In order for them to be able to submit you can do so many options i encourage you to play around with this it's super simple um and it's very easy let me tell you this before i found out webflow i would do forms with code and it was so so difficult just to make sure i get the right information but now webflow it's super easy and you are able to create forms and make sure it gets submitted to you correctly and you're able to use that information because that's super important if you're running a business if you're operating a business if you're a freelance designer it's so important that you make sure you get these forms right so make sure you check all the details well that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed that video i know it was just a really quick tutorial about forms i'm gonna be honest with you before i found out about webflow i used to hate creating forms and what i would do with my clients is really bad don't tell them i said this but i would not i would tell them that i don't recommend forms because honestly i didn't want to create forms but now with webflow it's so easy and i hope that that was a help to you if that was a help to you please click the subscribe button we come out with videos twice a week about being a web designer by being a freelance web designer about web tutorials web design tutorials and i know it'll be a help to you if you are on this journey of becoming a web designer go ahead and click that subscribe button and click the like button so that we can help up the youtube algorithm help me out help a brother out all right hope you guys have a great day and i hope to see you next time and always i want to encourage you to always keep learning peace